guys this is just on the case normally i'm doing a video in my car that's where i prefer to do them but i'm at home right now so i know you guys haven't seen me in a while i've been sick and i'm pretty sure you didn't want me to get up here sick <clears throat> i'm pretty sure there are a couple people if not two or three that want to know my views on this case as the pictures came out i saw them um and Dr. Oz and all of that. Um, I first want to talk about the pictures and what I feel about that part. With the pictures, I feel like they know that we know that she was murdered. Come on. Um, maybe to them it's a joke. That's what I'm starting to think. It's a joke to them because <clears throat> they feel like... You know, they can tell us anything. If they tell us that she died of hypothermia, we're going to believe them. Um, if we, if they say she died because, you know, she was too drunk and that's what happened, then we're going to believe them. Honestly, I don't. Because I know that <clears throat> she was murdered. Like, how can you get into a freezer and start taking your pants off and just, you know, going over here and ripping your shirt off and just die like that. So you mean to tell me she went into this freezer, took her clothes off, lost her shoe over in the corner, lip gloss on the ground, on this, in the freezer. Another person's lip gloss is in the freezer too. Now, what was she doing with two lip glosses? It seems like somebody might have helped put her in there and they dropped their lip gloss. Not only that, shoe. So, shoe is off the foot. Her foot is bleeding. There is blood on the doorknob that you're supposed to push to get out of the freezer. Now, was somebody holding her in the freezer and she was trying to kick the doorknob with her foot and could not get out? It makes me wonder, was she halfway hurt when she was in the freezer and trying to get out of the freezer, but there was someone on the other side keeping her inside of the freezer? Maybe they made sure that she was dead before they left. Come on, because if you put two and two together, why is there blood on this, the doorknob that you push to get out of the freezer? And why is her foot so bloody? Another thing. Her hair is tore all to pieces. Hypothermia. It's not going to have your hair all over your damn head like that. As you can see, and you guys, I don't have to show you the videos because you see them. All you have to do is go back and look at them and listen to what I'm telling you. As you can see in the videos, Kanika's hair was straight, bone straight. Even if she did this or that, her hair was straight. Now, how the hell... Did she get in the freezer, hair all on her damn head, just in a mess? There's no way possible unless she was trying to fight to get someone off of her. And unless someone raped her and put, and you know, left her in there, like, we're going to put your ass in the freezer. Because they thought maybe that she was so intoxicated that she didn't know that they were raping her. When they realized that she came to and that she was actually... A little coherent they got afraid they put her in the freezer she probably was crying they were probably hitting on her and left her in there and she probably tried to kick to get out after they done tried to rape her which they probably did and and her stuff was out and she just left it like that but she was kicking to get out of there she wasn't worried about her clothes she was trying to save her life so she might have kicked that 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 knob to get out of there and that's why that blood was on her foot like that because there's blood on that knob Dr. Oz that's my next one Dr. Oz um is the only person on TV that I know that's trying to get the story out there I don't know if it'll make any difference because they wanted to close it so quickly it seemed like when this came up they ready to close the case they throw these pictures out there like yeah we got them pictures are off funny part is 
Nancy Grace was on the show, and I'm like, Nancy's not going to lie. If Nancy believes that this is a murder, Nancy's going to say that. And when Dr. Oz was talking about how when people die and you're on that last, that last part of dying, you start taking off your clothes, Nancy was like, no. Mm -mm. He was like, it happens every once in a while. Nancy's like, nope, not going to believe that. And I believe Nancy because I'm like, who's going to sit there and do that when you're trying, you need to be trying to get the fuck out. Like, we're not going to be sitting there taking off our clothes. I don't give a fuck how cold you are. You're going to motherfucking try to get the fuck out. And I think that's what Kanika was doing. And I feel like people were standing on the outside of that door. That's why they don't have any footage. And making sure that she froze to death. Then when she froze and they didn't hear anything else, they probably checked on her. And she probably was almost frozen. They kept it closed. And then they went upstairs and act like they did not know where this girl was. That's why there's no footage of her walking in there because she did not walk in there by herself. I know you guys all know this, but I'm giving you a theory here of what happened. So everybody has their own opinion about Monifa, Irene, Shamaya, everybody that was at the party that knew Kanika very well. Well, I can't say if they were, did they have something to do with it or not, but how the way Monifa's acting, Monifa's acting very weird. As a best friend, you do not just stand back and just go to a couple protests, get yourself locked up, and think that's all you need to do. No, honey, her mom was on Dr. Oz. You should have asked her mom, could you go up there regardless of what her mom might say about you regardless of her mom thinks you're lying or not that's your point of proving you're not lying but when you just tapped out like you didn't care and then you're not trying to cooperate with nobody you're not even trying to see that this girl rests in peace you you just you know just out you, you started something else with somebody else on facebook while your friend your best friend died first of all i'm not gonna be laughing on facebook or instagram whatever that was she was on I'm not going to be talking to nobody else. I'm going to be like, girl, I don't got time for you right now, okay? Unless you're going to get my best friend back for me, fuck you. Unless you're going to help me figure out what the fuck happened to her, fuck you. I don't give a fuck about no nigga. I don't give a fuck about what you're talking about or if you hate my fucking guts. Unless you're going to help me get my best friend back, don't talk to me. She didn't do that. She was laughing and all in there like, hey, you know, and it makes her look bad. Now, I don't know if that was Irene that got the fighting with that girl or not, but hopefully it wasn't. But if, if people are beating your ass or people whooping Monifa's ass, that means y'all got something to do with it. And the, the whole Chicago, no. Somebody talking and somebody not saying it, it's, they saying it in codes. And they let motherfuckers know that y'all had something to do with this shit. And, and you wouldn't be getting your ass beat if, if, if you didn't have nothing to do with it. So even though the police might, not have anything to do with it maybe they do but if they don't and they don't have nothing to go by the streets are talking the streets always talk that's what you have to realize whether you're a street person or not the streets are going to talk but they talk in code and they send people for other people from what they heard and then they talk about gds and bds that's gang related shit so you don't think those two Gangs are talking about it. Oh, they're definitely talking about it. They're definitely talking about it. And they're getting back at one another. So if Irene call herself being in the gang and Monifa call herself being in the set, another set going to come after you and whoop your ass for what you did. And if they keep saying that, that Kanika was in a, a gang, well, if Kanika was pretending to be in a gang, because that's what young people do. They want to be included in stuff and they pretend like, oh, I've been, I'm in the gang. That's fine. But guess what? Kanika had a job lined up to be a CNA. So whether she was pretending or not, she was getting ready to get her shit together. Who's to say they were jealous about that? But from what I heard, they might have needed five people for bodies. So I don't know what the fuck, you know, how they came up with the idea to plan it out. It's so many theories out there. We're not going to be able to just depict every single one of them in one day. But I'm just throwing all this shit out here to you guys because I want you to know the security guard on the camera might have had a lot to do with it. Because he was over there. How are you trying to push the wall? How are you doing that? 
and there's nobody there because they edited the video and it was Kanika he was had against the wall that's what it was his hands was right here he was looking directly at it that was Kanika on that wall and then he was in that door like he was trying to that was Kanika in front of him so he knew exactly what he was doing there's a picture of Kanika actually going into that same room and she's like going in there and then she comes out they edited him out but then put him by himself so you got to see it. It's just all mixed up. The times are off on the videos. It's confusing. And now people are like, oh, I know this. We already know that. It doesn't matter about what you know. I'm giving my opinion. So just so you guys know, some of us are going to have to go back to the beginning. Start this shit all the way over and reroute this shit because of the misinformation and the stupid ass fucking videos that they've given and they mixed up and these stupid ass pictures coming out. Why the fuck would you have someone's dead pictures come out? Like when is that ever heard of? When is that ever heard of? And then the decency of the pictures. I don't know who did it, but if it was her mom, I understand why her mom did it. Anybody else, I don't. Her mom might have did it because she doesn't want us to give up, guys. And I'm not. Like I said, this is just a video for this morning. I have to be headed off to work, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And remember, we're doing justice for Kanika. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care if you don't like me. I'm going to continue to be up here talking about Kanika until I see something. I can't do it every day, but I definitely will get up here and I will let people know how I feel. And and you can voice your opinion on my, my status. I don't care. I'm not up here for likes. I'm like around my, my little state. So I don't care about that. You guys can... Subscribe if you want. You don't want to subscribe. You don't have to. It would be nice because I want people to follow me for justice for Kanika only. So I can see how many people out there in the world care about this case and care about this girl. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But it would be nice to know that people care about Kanika. And she's 19. Didn't get to live her life. That's the part that I can't get over. That's the part. When I get when I try to separate myself from this case and I try to focus on other things, which I do focus on other things, this case draws me right back in. Just right back in. And I'm very spiritual. And it's like I cannot just ignore it. It's gonna stay right, it's like right here. Right here. And I can't ignore it and pretend like I don't know what's going on. So Remember justice on the case, justice for Kanika.